Now let's take a look at the stats from Veto Kaylee. 18 games played, 8 goals scored, 2 assists. I have 9 goals and 4 assists in only 10 games. If you guys need some coins for Team of the Year, get your coins with the link in the description below and use the code Jani at checkout for 20% off. Once again, 20%. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the next episode of our My Player Career Mode. In the last one, it was Johnny versus Veto Kele, and we did a great job against him in the last episode. Hopefully, in this one, we will be able to keep that up. We are now a 71 rated player, the same as we were in the last episode. 10 games played, 9 goals scored, 4 assists, and I love the feedback on this series hopefully you guys will smash that 1000 mark again 1000 likes would be insane i know it's team of the year time but still this series really gets good support and i really love it and i appreciate it so much guys and these are the objectives that i'm going for i need one more goal and one more man of the match and team of the week performance so hopefully in this episode we will be able to get that and then grow by a couple of points and maybe just maybe Get to 72 right now we are sitting in second place uh, three points behind Watford I believe and in this game against Millwall we needed to pick up our performance from the last episode because in the last match we didn't do too well our first match was amazing but the second match was shit as you can see, this is our starting lineup. No Veto Kele, no Church in the striking position. I really do struggle when Veto Kele is not playing alongside me. And in the 8th minute of this match, it was Millwall getting in the first shot and also the first goal of this game. So that was not really the way this match was meant to be started. But we get in a chance in the 22nd minute and Charlton Athletic is picking up right here Johnny on the attack 42nd getting the shot in for Charlton but that one is saved by the goalkeeper miserably taken shot by me I have to say that right here I'm passing it to my striking partner and I just realized I turned off the names when I did the Barcelona career mode I changed the settings sorry guys I will pick that back up in the next episode but as you can see right here it is the 90th minute and we are getting a loss that is the first loss when Johnny was in the starting lineup and that is really devastating without Veto Kele, it is so hard for me to get a goal or an assist because no one else in this team is making offensive runs and my my coach just basically tells us to defend the whole time I never saw him put us on all-out attacking that is something I never have seen from my coach and I'm not really impressed with his performances so far maybe we do need a new coach but Veto Kele is now a 70 rated player he has grown and his average rating is a 7.0 and that is a really good rating so far for him hopefully in this match we will be playing let's take a look at the starting lineup yes Veto Kele he is there and I'm actually happy that he is in there because I need my striking partner the other ones are not good enough church is is okay he's nothing too special but Veto Kele right here he is the man I need him to score my goals and I need him to get my assists and definitely in this match I felt a lot better it is now Johnny running towards the goal after the pass and it is Johnny taking the shot but that one gets saved by the goalkeeper right here and an amazing pass to Veto Kele and I just don't know what he decided to do right there why would you stop your run you have 90 pace or something like that and I just couldn't understand why he just didn't want to take the shot or at least run towards the goal but I really tried my best in this game went to kill it really didn't do anything and on top of that our opponents got stronger and stronger right here Richie with the shot onto the post and I just couldn't get the goal in but now we are in the 69th minute it is my minute to score the goal come on Johnny he's not pacing it through but then I decided to pass it to Veto Kele who is not able to score his shot was just miserably taken maybe I did force him to take that shot a bit too early but I thought he could take it a lot better right here another pass from me 
getting us another chance in this game. But my my teammates were just not good enough in these last two matches. Really, nothing happened in the top right corner. You can see that I'm getting a lot of points, which still are amazing. I really like growing my player stats, but still, I would really like to win some games. This one ends nil-nil, which means so far in this episode, we had one loss and one draw. Gianni still didn't score any goals, same with Wetakele, he didn't really do anything, he didn't even play in the first game, and I'm just so upset, even though I really reached all my objectives, thanks to the last episode where I scored all the goals, and now I also got plus one, I'm now 72 rated, I'm still pissed off, because in the last two games I just couldn't do anything, my team wasn't going for it, and I blame the coach for it, I would really love to see the coach play more attacking football we need another formation but you guys said said to me in the comments that the coach never changes the formation but at least he should try to change the custom tactics in game he's always telling us to defend right away when the game starts and that's just the thing that i can't cope with and in this third game i really hoped to change that Let's get it started. First up, it is Rotherham United starting the first attack and they do hit the crossbar with a nice header and then what a save from our goalkeeper and our coach decides to go on to uh, balanced custom tactics and right here I am getting an amazing pass but sadly my shot lands right in front of the goalkeeper and he just parries it away and right after that we give away a penalty a very stupid penalty I don't even know what's happened I didn't get a replay and we will concede it is 1-0 for the away team. We are playing at home in front of our own fans. And they were so disappointed that about the last two games already. Charlton Athletic not really getting onto that form. Johnny missing this big chance right here. Everyone was wondering why our team was sucking so bad. Right here I get another pass. 45th minute. It just wouldn't work out. It just wouldn't work in this episode. Somehow everything was going against me. 68th minute after a cross which I tried to get to. Johnny gets injured. And this time it seems to be a crucial injury. Beto Kaley now joining into the game. But that doesn't really matter. The only thing we all do care about is how long will Johnny be gone. But take a look at this guys, Johnny is match fit, nothing happened, why did you sop me off, I still had it man, I had the injured icon but still Johnny is on track and I promise in the next episode I will score some goals again. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'm sorry that in this episode nothing really happened, but stuff like this has to happen, this is a road to glory, thank you all for watching, smash that like button, 1000 would be sick. Have a nice day, guys, and peace.